Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2025 Coachman Catalina 134 RKX. This thing comes in about 16 feet long, just a hair over 2,600 pounds dry. We're gonna take a few minutes here, kind of run you through the inside and outside of this little RV and show you what this thing is all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2025 Catalina 134 RKX travel trailer here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago, this is kind of a front bedroom, rear kitchen slash bathroom setup here. So stepping into your new Catalina travel trailer here, we're gonna start in the back and then we'll spin around and look at the front here. You're gonna have basically a little kitchen area, a little corner kitchen area back here. So you're gonna have some overhead cabinet space that does kind of go back in behind the microwave back up in there a little bit. So a decent amount of space up there. You have your GE microwave over here. You're gonna have the GE hood range light and fan and a GE two burner gas stove top there as well. Now right down here is a propane furnace. And then you also have some storage underneath of your sink area as well. Now the window back here does open. You have a metal mini blind on there. There's an electric outlet here as well. High rise faucet. Back over here is going to be your bathroom area. So kind of opening up your bathroom door to your right over here, you are going to have your shower area. So you have a little exhaust vent fan up there. Basically a step in shower with a pull across curtain. And then you have your foot flush toilet. Light switch here on the left little hook holder there and also a mirror there and an electric outlet up high here. Got a little hook holder on the back of the door as well. Now just outside of that area, you're gonna have a little bit of storage space up here. You see a little advertisement thing here talking about the AC also having an electric heat pump system built into it. So you can heat this thing up with the heat pump in the air conditioner, cool it down with the air conditioner, or even turn on your propane furnace if you really needed to. You do have TV hookups here, so you could maybe mount your small TV here if you wanted. You got your TV antenna booster, cable inlet and stuff. If you go to a campground, it has cable. There is your digital thermostat to control the AC, the heat pump, and the propane furnace. You're going to have a little mini fridge down here. And then below this mini fridge is going to be an electric outlet, the propane leak detector system, and also the electric box with the breakers and fuses. Now on the side over here, you're going to have your JBL stereo system which again controls the inside speaker and the outside speaker. You have some water heater controls, water pump control, the interior and exterior light switch there, monitor panel for your holding tanks, and the awning power button. I'm just kind of spinning around here looking at the front of the RV. You're going to have your bed there, kind of going east to west. Each window on each side there does open, so you can maybe get a cross breeze flowing through there. You're going to also have a shelf up top there to stash a lot of goodies. Electric outlet and USB chargers on each side of the bed here. And at the foot of the bed down there, you got that little shelf area. And that also has a little bit of storage there in as well. Now the sofa area over here will also go down and make into a bed if you wanted to. So you could sleep an extra guest there as well. If you've got that little grandkid or something that wants to come with you. And then there's also storage underneath of that sofa giving you quite a bit of extra storage right there. 
All right, now we're gonna step back outside. I wanna show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2025 Catalina 134 RKX travel trailer here. Starting here on the door side, we're gonna kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have kind of a light silver and darker gray and some black trim work on the side. So you have an aluminum sided, wood frame constructed RV here. It has deep tent safety glass windows. There is a pretty good size storage compartment right here, which goes underneath of your bed. Now it is also prepped right here for a port for a solar panel. So it's prepped for a go power solar panel. You could do a 30 amp charge controller and say a couple hundred watt solar panel on the roof. This is kind of a smaller RV. So you gotta make sure whatever panels you buy will be able to fit up there on the roof. So that's gonna be real important for you. You know, you can't put a thousand watts up there and have a whole bunch of panels if the roof can't handle it. So just kind of measure things out and make sure you set it up properly. You are gonna have a power awning here with a multi-color changing LED light up there, adjustable arms for tilting, and a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You have the heavy duty entry exit step right here, rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, flips inside the doorway when traveling down the road. You have a traditional RV entry door and screen door. There is again that JBL speaker right out there, an electric outlet right there as well. You are a single axle unit, easy lube hubs, drum brakes. It has a Westlake legend kind of off-road tire on it. It has two heavy duty scissor jacks on the back of it to help stabilize it. It also has a pet friendly leash latch holder on the back corner there. Moving on around to the back, you have your traditional four inch square tube bumper. Some people will you know, mount a bike rack or something like that on there. Um, be careful how much weight you put on it though. Some people also store their dump hoses in there if it'll fit. You're gonna have down below hot and cold low point water drains down here. You got your black tank flush on the back right here and your city water inlet also on the back of the RV right here. You have prepping in the top center of the RV right there for the Furion rear observation camera. You also have prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. Now that rear observation camera is pretty cool. You might consider doing that. That is a definitely a great safety feature, uh, which would allow you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road and stuff or backing into your campsite. I do like those. Uh, you are gonna also have up top there, uh, the uh, stove exhaust vent, that little black rectangle up there. There's another little storage area right here on this. It's not real big, but this is kind of back underneath of the kitchen counter area. You have your detachable power cord right here, 30 amp service. You're gonna have down below there, your gray and black tank dumps. Furnace exhaust out right here. It has a cable inlet here. So if you go to a campground that has cable, you could plug in there. Or if you have maybe one of those cool portable satellite systems, you could plug it in there, move your satellite around, stake it down to the ground and you know, kind of use that. You're gonna also have here the little round circle thing down there. That is your gravity fill fresh water. You're gonna have your water heater right there. Down below, there's a little white hose sticking down. That is your drain for your portable fresh water tank system. Now right here, let's run over these stickers for you real quick. This is very, very important info. Right here, you're going to find your production date sticker. Tells me, for example, this RV was built 7-23 of 2024. It has the model number 134RKX. This thing has a gross vehicle weight of 4,281 pounds. That's the most you're allowed to load it up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. Now, right down here, we have our dry weight sticker here that tells me this RV weighed 2,647 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line. Has an exterior length of 16 feet. Tire size, ST23575R15 D-range tire 
with a 65 PSI cold. Now it is very important to keep up with your tire pressure when traveling with any RV. Now you have kind of a black smooth rolled metal on the front with a lower diamond plate metal on the bottom section. But you can see here, it does slope back fairly nicely. So it's not that traditional old school flat front end. Trying to help make it a little bit more aerodynamic going down the road. You're gonna have a single 20 pound propane tank right here, a manual tongue jack. You might wanna recommend, if you travel a lot, upgrading that to a power tongue jack. Talk with your salesperson about that. Uh, but it's real simple, because this thing is lightweight to crank it up and down pretty easy compared to some of them big RVs I usually video. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug, breakaway cable. It's currently riding on the BAL Norcold um, industry frame system. It's a huck bolt frame system, very nice frame. There's room back here to basically put one or two batteries depending on the size of the battery. There's also a battery disconnect down there underneath the front section as well. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch this tour of the brand new 2025 Catalina 134RKX. Much appreciated. If you don't mind, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please remember to subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Thanks again.